I was totally thrilled when the mail came yesterday. I received this cool cast prop from Adam at Small Town Bassin. I got this prop so that I could do some comparison testing between the prop that comes with the Newport Vessels 55 pound thrust trolling motor and this prop which is supposed to give a higher top speed and I want to try that out. The first trick in replacing the stock prop which goes on to a 55 pound thrust trolling motor is that the thickness from the inside surface of this prop where the pin goes to where the nut or I guess I should say the washer normally sits is thicker than this prop which was designed for a smaller trolling motor. So I'm going to take an Allen wrench and see what that distance is. It looks like it's about an inch and then on this one it's more like five-eighths of an inch. It turns out that this shaft, the smooth portion, is three-eighths of an inch in diameter and these threads are five-sixteenths diameter. So I can use two stacks of washers underneath the nut to hold everything together. And if you see, there is a little bit of a gap between this prop and the back of the motor, but there's nothing I can do about that. So we're just gonna have to live with that for now. I've got this assortment of stainless washers. I'm gonna use the 3 8 washers. Yep, those drop right onto the smooth part of the shaft. Four, five. It looks like I need five of those. Put two of these on. Now we can put on the nut. All right. So that's the hardware we need to install this when we're down at the water. So I'm on my way to the water. I got off work about a half hour early so that I could get to the water about an hour before high tide and I should be able to test from then until an hour after high tide without any current affecting my speed measurements. And right now there's no wind so that will be good too for testing but not so good for comfort because it's about 90 degrees out right now. Uh, it's super hot, super humid but I'll deal with that and hopefully we'll get some good test results. Here I am out on the water doing my speed testing and right now I'm running at 100% power pulling 372.4 watts of power and my speed is 4.4 miles an hour and this is with the default Newport Vessels prop. And next, I'm going to be going back to the floating dock and swapping on the high-speed propeller from Small Town Bass. Going this direction, we're at 365 watts of power and 4.5 miles per hour. All right, so there's our high speed prop. So 
uh, I have not cheated. I just put on the prop and got the meters out where I could see everything. I have not run this up to speed yet. So the first thing I'm going to do is run up to 370 watts of power, uh, which is the equivalent of full speed on the other prop, and we'll see what um, percentage of power that requires and how fast we're going. And this is 50% power right now. It's pulling 105 watts and we're already at 3.3 miles an hour. It's getting a little breezy out here on the main part of the creek so I'm going to go back in one of these coves where it's out of the wind. Okay, so now we're at 4 miles an hour at 170 watts, which is pretty good, I believe. And that's at 63% power. All right, so now we're at 4.6 miles an hour, which was my previous top speed, at 291 watts. So we're drawing way less power, and we're only at 81%. And this is full speed, 100% power, drawing 433 watts and 4.9 miles an hour. Alright, well let's turn around and head back the other way and see what we do. Let's go full power out of this little branch. All right, now we're at five miles an hour solid, 5.1 at 430 watts. So I would say that switching props is giving me about half a mile an hour increase and it takes about 50 more watts to get that half a mile an hour increase. And now that I've checked out the top speed, I'm going to switch over to still camera pictures and do a performance curve and see what the different power levels look like at the different speeds. All right, well now I've done my testing it looks like I'm getting around 5.1 or 5.2 miles an hour at maximum speed, which is better than I was getting before with the stock prop. Um, I think now I'm going to do a few hours of fishing and just do some performance testing, just not quantitative, but qualitative performance testing just to see how it feels. So uh, see you all later.